Hello again from your friends at Wright Auto Way. Today we're bringing you this new body cell 2012 Ford Explorer XLT crossover SUV, four wheel drive, 3.5 liter V6 engine. This vehicle was my driver for the weekend and I had it when we had up to a foot of snow and this thing gets amazing traction. I can't thank it enough to get me out of situations where other vehicles were in the ditch this one saved me and i had to drive a long way to get to where i needed to go this one's got the high intensity headlights it's like an off-white cream color very nice color alloy wheels the tires are about 60 percent and they're really nice aggressive tires these are falcon tires inside you're going to find power windows locks mirrors power driver seat side airbags no check engine no airbag light rear heat and air controls clean headliner this is one of the better engines that ford offers on the explorer it's got a brand new battery this is a non ecoboost engine for those of you that know the ecoboost is nothing but problems apparently easy access to the third row making this a seven passenger vehicle you got the controls for the vents on top these seats do fold in flat into the seat, into the ground or the floor. Very nice, very nice vehicle. Here's the other side. Let's take you on a short test drive, show you how the vehicle drives. Really cold out today. Take a look at the temperature with the windshield. Uh, we're in the minus right now. And this vehicle started right up, no issues. You got the controls for the rear. That's how you shut it off. And then you got the main one for the front. You got a really nice sound system with the USB and the iPod in there. One of the, one of the reasons I was so impressed with the handling of this vehicle is this setup right here. And in the cluster, it'll tell you the intelligent four wheel drive. So right now we'll switch it up to the snow. It'll take it a moment and it'll adjust for that. And the vehicle gets more traction. Uh, basically, this thing, I'm telling you, uh, I, I can't uh, say anything but uh, good things about it as far as handling. Well, I'll tell you what I had to get out of. See the, next to that Hummer, see that big snow mound there? I didn't have to clean up. I put it on four wheel drive and I was able to come right up. Yeah, we got a lot of snow, so we're just trying to recover from that. And uh, while it was snowing, I was driving the vehicle, and this thing, I can't, I can't uh, say anything but good things about it. But back to the vehicle, it is a clean title, it's a new body cell, exact miles of the vehicle are 147, 239 are the exact miles of the vehicle. You know, we're going to see take on a short drive. Transmission solid, engine is strong. I mean, that, this is a very, very nice vehicle, and we got a price aggressive. And uh, the white color, like I mentioned, it's like an off white, so it looks really nice. That's the windshield wipers. Pretty much everything on the vehicle works as it should. All the power windows work, the door locks, the seats, and this being an XLT trim, it just has your basic options. And it does have stability control, so when you get the vehicle going sideways, it'll automatically correct itself. So it's perfect for Minnesota driving. You can't get this thing to go sideways. It's very responsive. It hugs the road. I mean, we're on ice right now, and it's making turns like it's nothing. So great vehicle for the family. It's safe. Financing is available. All you have to do is log on to our website. Fill up a short and simple online application for credit that will come to us. We would work hard to make sure that we get you approved that the terms on the rates that you can afford. And this 3.5 liter V6 engine is one of the many choices that you get with the Explorers now. They even have a four cylinder for a, small, uh, for a, a mid sized SUV. I think four cylinder is underpowered. And then they have the EcoBoost uh, 365 horsepower twin turbo and the 3.7 liter, which they use on the police version. This is uh, a, a perfectly good engine. It's non-turbocharged, so you don't have all the issues that the Evo Boost has, and it runs and drives super nice. This, these are highway miles, and uh, give us a call with any additional questions you may have. Thank you.